Hi, Mark Kelly here, and in this video I'm going to show you how I solve the problem of delivering consistently high quality English courses in several locations on a tight budget. So if you run a British Council accredited multi-centre operation in the UK, this is definitely for you. Now I like solving problems, and when I moved from being principal at a year-round language school to running multi-centre summer courses back in 2000, I quickly realised I had a whole new set of problems to deal with. Managing a large group of recently recruited teachers operating in many different locations presents its own problems, but the real issue is designing a standardised short course that will be useful and interesting for students and easy for inexperienced teachers to deliver. And of course, in a very competitive market, everything has to be done within a fairly strict budget. Simply giving teachers a standard course book and leaving them to get on with it doesn't work. Just turning the pages of a book for three hours is boring, whatever the book. And most course books are based on grammar, which is the least interesting and least useful aspect of the language to focus on, particularly on a short course. The other problem with most commercially available course books is that, is that they are very expensive and contain far more material than any teacher will cover in a two or three week course. So if you're currently using one, it's my guess you're paying for lots of pages of material that never get used, which is a very inefficient way to manage your resources. Now at this point you may be thinking, is a course book really necessary? Why not just use photocopies? Well that's definitely an option, but not one I'm in favour of. Photocopies are not very environmentally friendly, their use often infringes copyright, they can be quite expensive and they give the appearance of a course which has been cobbled together rather than planned. The right course book, on the other hand, gives the course structure, reduces preparation time for teachers and provides the student with a record of the course. It took several years to write, test and refine the material, but it was worth it. Back in 2005, the British Council said the courses were standardised and based on an excellent set of in-house teaching materials which were entirely appropriate to the students' needs. Since then I've made lots of improvements and additions and made the material available to anyone interested in using it. So here's how it works. First of all, you need a teaching framework, both to give the course structure and to help the teacher deliver it successfully. The teaching block has to be broken into manageable chunks and a variety of activities should be included. So what's in the syllabus? Well, the emphasis is on speaking and listening, topic-based discussions, pronunciation, British culture and history, opportunities for students to be creative and to write about their experiences, common vocabulary and plenty of language games. I use topics from the syllabus for the Trinity College exams in spoken English as the basis for the books because this is the only widely recognised exam that is flexible enough for students on a short course to do. To keep costs to a minimum, the inner pages are in black and white and the material comes in two books a 40-page level-specific book and a 32-page one-size-fits-all workbook. The level-specific books contain 12 topic-based units with questionnaires, games and quizzes to get students thinking and encourage them to express their own opinions. At the end of most of the units, there's a crossword that recycles vocabulary from the unit. There are also short grammar exercises which relate to the Trinity College syllabus and exercises which can be used as an optional end-of-course test. The workbook is just 32 pages, but it contains a lot of teaching material, including a step-by-step -step introduction to how English pronunciation works. This is a big part of the course because it's a weakness for almost all students, but it's something which is given very little coverage elsewhere. The workbook also contains short texts on a variety of aspects of British history and culture. Most summer courses have an element of cultural visits, so some classroom activities linked to this are useful, but they need to be short and interesting to keep the attention of teenagers. These texts are also available as listening exercises. There are spaces for journal writing, so if it's used properly, the workbook becomes the student's personal record of the course. Finally, there are extra quizzes and exercises on common discussion topics. These are the current prices of the books on the website, and as you can see, they're a fraction of the price of other books on the market. If you'd like to start using material that the British Council Inspection Report described as outstanding, both in terms of content and presentation, please email me at mark at silverhammerpublications.com. OK, that's it for this video, but that's not the end of the story. 
In the next video, I'll explain how the other course materials I've developed will also help you improve the quality of your English courses without breaking the bank. Thanks for watching.